Hi everyone, welcome. This is Shah. In this video, we're going to be looking at uh, the best export settings for YouTube from ScreenFlow 6. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to get started, let's find out the resolutions that we uh, that we need the video to be in. So go into your web browser and search for YouTube recommended encoding settings. I'll put a link to the uh, to this uh, to this ones on my video's description. So you want to go to the first link, which is supportgoogle.com link, and then in there you have a resolutions and aspect ratio tab. So you want to have a 16 by 9. Uh, aspect ratio uh, which I'll explain what that is in a bit so go into this link right here um, and it's gonna say for 1080p video that's what we're gonna be targeting uh, we need 1920 by 1080 video resolution so what that means is if you go into screen flow again go into file document settings and then go into uh, this drop down and then select 1080p which is going to give you the correct uh, width and height right so you're going to have that so let's say if you have a video uh, which is done in that aspect ratio that kind of resolution which I have right here um, so if that's if your video is matching exactly to the resolution that's fine but let's say you have a smaller resolution video but still has the same aspect ratio aspect ratio is uh, width divided by height height so what you want to do is if you have something like this what you want to do is um, select one of the edges and then move it to the um, to the edge of the black window you don't want to see any black borders around your video right that's what you want to avoid so select that and then when you go to the um, end like the edges it's gonna snap like so um, don't press shift and select this and then do that. That way it's um, it's gonna scale non-proportionally. Uh, that way you're gonna end up with a stretched or a squeezed video, which you don't want. So I'm gonna undo what I just did right there and then move it like so. So this is, something, this is what you want in your video. Okay, um, so just to drive the point across, if you have something like this, which is not 16 by nine, right? something like this what you want to do is uh, move the edges like of the video to the black windows edge and then position the your video to the middle of the screen um, in this way you would still get the, the black bars but your video wouldn't be um, uh, stretched so so like if I, I press shift and then do that to this video you can, as you can see it's going to be stretched this is not what you want right and again another video that's um, not 16 by 9 resolution so if you have something like this uh, try to position it um, move it to the edges as much as you can and it's going to snap uh, and then place the video in the middle of the screen that way like so that way you would still have like on the previous one you would still have um, borders on, on this instance on the top and the bottom but your video is not going to be stretched um, okay cool so I'm gonna be using that and then uh, so that's fine so what you what we want to do now is export so go into um, export settings and then let's select the web high setting right here um, what you want to do is select this um, scale to custom size um, your selection might be selected to scale by um, selection like this that's the default one so select the scale to custom size and then put 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution and then go into customize and then in here um, the frame rate needs to be 60 and if you go back to your browser and if you go back to the uh, link that we are talking about the um, recommended upload encoding settings if you open up bitrate here uh, for 1080p for 60 frames per second you need 12 mbps 
Um, so what that means in, uh, in ScreenFlow, um, you take that that number 12 and multiply it by 1000. So 12,000 kilobits per second. That's what you want. So if you're uh, doing 30 frames a second, um, you need 8,000 um, kilobits per second, right? But in this case, we want 12,000. There you go. And then profile needs to be high, keyframe rate automatic, um, sample rate for audio, um, here 48 hertz kilohertz sorry and the bitrate is going to be 320 kilobits per second and then keep channel as stereo and okay um, you can also uh, that's it you can also um, save this preset by going um, to the preset section and then make settings default and then press uh, export um, and that way you can save it okay Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.